Good afternoon and welcome to the Class of 2020 Senior Awards presentation. Today is a day of celebration and excitement, even if the format might look different than in years past. Senior Awards Night is a way to recognize the tireless effort of our students throughout their high school experience. Our goal this afternoon is to be able to announce and celebrate our award recipients. We will notify our students around the logistics of how to gather their scholarships and awards at a later date and time. I'd like to take a moment to extend a warm welcome to Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Greg Myers, Director of Curriculum Instruction and Assessment, Ms. Elizabeth Boutiet, uh, Director of Pupil Services, Mrs. Kate Ryan, School Business Manager, Mr. Rick Bedard, Assistant Principal John Kroll, Assistant Principal Patrick Mara, School Committee members, faculty, staff, and all the community members watching. Before we begin, I'd like to also take the time to recognize the efforts of the individuals that helped plan and organize today's unique event. Thank you to our scholarship committees, guidance department, our guidance secretary, Mrs. Nicole Mulligan, our videographer, Mr. Kevin Chrysopoulos, and so many more. I'd also like to take the time to recognize our entire class of 2020. It was excellent to be able to see you all today during our senior signouts. Uh, you were all smiling, and it was great to be able to communicate and connect with you again. Please note that you guys are being recognized here today and celebrated for the excellence of your performance across all disciplines throughout your years as Woolies. You've made this day possible through persistence, passion, hard work, motivation, and dedication to succeeding, and we commend you for that. We cannot wait to recognize you for all of your efforts here today. You have and continue to make us all so proud. To our Woolly families in attendance and watching, we thank you for entrusting us with your most precious commodity over these past four years. The relationships, celebrations, and memories that we've been able to experience with the class of 2020 will live with us not only for the rest of our professional journey, but also our lives. We are forever grateful for your trust, support, and collaboration. We feel fortunate to be able to create another storied memory with you all here today. To our community and scholarship partners, we thank you for the kindness and generosity that you show to our high school. Without you, we would not have scholarships to present to our students. Thank you. I'd like to, to officially uh, start our awards presentation off by announcing our Class of 2020 Valedictorian. This award is given annually to the student in the graduating class with the highest weighted cumulative GPA. This year's award recipient as the Class of 2020 Valedictorian is Ms. Angelina Finuccio. The next award I'd like to present is for the salutatorian. Again, much like the valedictorian, this award is presented for the student in the graduating class with the highest, uh, second highest cumulative total GPA. This year's salutatorian for the class of 2020 is Hunter Swanson. I think it's important to note for the class of 2020 valedictorian and salutatorian that these awards are typically presented by an elected official and presented with plaques recognizing from uh, their accomplishments from the House of Representatives and the Senate. But due to the unfortunate COVID-19 pandemic, we will have to present these plaques at a later date. Congratulations to Hunter and Angelina. So, I'm Stephanie DeLucia, for everyone who doesn't know, the Guidance Department Director. And um, Mr. Lutto and I will be switching off to present the Department Awards. So for the first award, the English Department Award, it will be given to Ms. Scout Bedoin. For the Mathematics Department Award, this year's recipient is Dominic Bayer. The Science Award will go to Hunter Swanson. For our world, world languages, we have two awards, both for French and Spanish. Our, our world language French award goes to Ms. Gianna Borowski. For our Spanish award recipient for the class of 2020, Ms. Cassandra Pontbriant. The 
The Social Studies Award will be given to Megan Dunn. Our health award this year goes to Miss Audra McDuffie. Our physical education award will go to Joseph Moore. Our band award for this year goes to Mr. Adam Army. Our chorus award will go to Gianna Borowski. Our art award for this year will go to Mr. Danny Paselli. Our business award will go to James Crossman. Our computer technology award goes to Joe Boucher. The guidance award will go to James Mwangi. And last but not least, for our department awards, our most improved goes to Ripley Campo. The next award we'd like to present is the first award. The first award is presented to students who have earned principal's list or honors during the first three quarters of the current school year. This year's recipients are Abigail Assad. Tyler Fay, Nicolette Gent Gentili, Hannah Leary, Danielle Martin, Allison Pagoric, and Cassandra Pompriant. The second award is presented to students who have earned principal's list or honors six out of seven quarters during the past two years. Those students are Abigail Assad, Olivia Eau Claire, Jenna Benoit, James Crossman, Lily Ezold, Lauren Jerome, Deandra Lavalley, Danielle Martin, Taylor Tolley, and Marissa Valencourt. Our third awards are presented to students who have earned principal's list or honors nine out of the first 11 quarters of three consecutive years. Two quarters must occur during the first three terms of the current year. Those students are Alicia Berenson, Megan Cody, Micah Friedman, and Kayleen Rips. The fourth award is presented to students who have earned principal's list or honors for 13 out of 15 quarters of four consecutive years. Two quarters must occur during the first three quarters of the present academic year. Those students, Casey Ayotte, Jack Bazidlow, Scout Bedoin, Dominic Beyer, Avinash Bissendil, Gianna Borowski, Joseph Boucher, Megan Dunn, Angelina Finuccio, Abigail Gilbert, Anthony Greenwich, Christina Howland, Marina Kazmierzak, Tyler McCool, Audra McDuffie, Victoria McGovern, Morgan Noel, Kelsey Reno, Shannon Reno, Taylor Samuelson, Andrew Spokus, Hunter Swanson, Jenna Taubert, and Casey Texera. The Millbury High School Business Concentration Award provides students with the business knowledge, communication, and technology skills necessary to excel in college and in the workplace. The following students have met the required credits and grades through their business and related coursework here at Millbury High School. Those students are Jack Bazidlow, Grant Shaves LaCava, James Crossman, William Flynn, Anna Gamari, Charlie Mitchell, Aaron Onofre, Andrew Spokus.
The following students will be attending a college or university in the fall that has an articulation agreement with Millbury High School. Students that meet credit and grade requirements for articulated courses taken at Millbury High School may receive credit for similar coursework at the school they will be attending. These students are Eurides Lopez, Felicity Oves, and Marissa Valencourt. The Swickle Principal Award is given to an individual that embodies the core value and beliefs at their respective schools within the Southern Worcester County League. This year's recipient of the Swickle Principal Award is Ryan Kirkowitz. We will now transition over to the local scholarship part of the program. In addition to over $50,000 in scholarship awards being presented today, mem many members of our graduating class are eligible for matching grants from colleges for the Dollars for Scholars scholarships that they are receiving. Other members of the class, too numerous to mention today, have received scholarship awards and recognition from private organizations or the colleges they plan to attend. We salute all of the recipients as part of the awards program. Our first scholarship is the Bill Martin Scholarship Fund. Bill Martin was an employee of the Millbury School Department for over 25 years as our most beloved maintenance man. Bill was always there to help keep us comfortable and most importantly, safe. We could always depend on Bill to be there when we needed him. Bill Martin's family has started a scholarship in his honor. The scholarship is open to all Millbury High School graduating seniors who are entering some type of post high school education, college, trade, or technical school. Any type of education where you may need a little extra money. Preference to those who may not be at the top of their class but are still solid students who try and put in the effort to better themselves. The first annual Bill Martin Scholarship Award will go to Casey Ayotte, Emma Guyon, and Audra McDuffie. The Brady Family Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given in memory of Mary C. Brady. She and Francis J. had 11 children who graduated from Millbury High School. This is our way to give back. Mary and Francis taught their children that they were not expected to be the first in their class, but they were expected to do their very best every day in school, give back to their community, and help to support the family. These are the qualities we look for when deciding who will receive this scholarship each year. The Brady Family Scholarship recipient for the class of 2020 is Christina Howland. The Brady Family would also like to generously award all scholarship applicants a $100 Amazon gift card due to COVID-19's impact on the class of 2020. These recipients are Olivia Auclair, Casey Ayotte, Dominic Beyer, Gianna Borowski, Lucas Belanger, Anna Kerrigan, Megan Cody, James Crossman, Marina Kazmierczak, Hunter Luby, Tyler McCool, Audra McDuffie, Amanda Saro, Jenna Taubert, Casey Texera, and Michaela Vorse. The next scholarship, the Community Service Learning Scholarship. This scholarship is given to a senior who's an outstanding participant in our community service learning program. This year's recipient is Megan Cody. The Daniel Joseph Gilbert Memorial Scholarship is given to a cross country runner, winter or spring track athlete, baseball or softball player in memory of Daniel Joseph Gilbert. The Daniel Joseph Gilbert Scholarship recipients are Lucas Belanger, and Abigail Gilbert. The next scholarship is the Dennis P. Leonard Memorial Scholarship. The recipients this year are Abigail Gilbert and Emma Guyon. The next scholarship is the Elm Draft House Cinema Scholarship. This scholarship is given to M Millbury High School seniors as a way of giving back to our community. The following students are recognized. Morgan Cronin, James Crossman, Lily Easold, and Christina Howland. The next scholarship 
the Elmwood Street School Scholarship is usually presented by two kindergartners from the current class. The Elmwood Street School Scholarship is given to a student who has attended the Millbury Public Schools from grades kindergarten through 12th grade. This year, the scholarships will be presented to Nicolette Gentili and Gianna Borowski. The next scholarship is the Gary S. Dean Student Athlete Scholarship. This award is given to a serious student that enjoys and plays any type of sport. The Dean family will be awarding multiple scholarships to the following students. Megan Cody, Morgan Cronin, Hunter Luby, Kelsey Reno, Shannon Reno, and Jenna Taubert. The Jennifer Dow Memorial Scholarship is a scholarship given to an active member of the girls' soccer or softball team. The recipient must have participated in at least one of the teams during their senior year. This year's recipients of the Jennifer Dow Memorial Scholarship are Abigail Gilbert, Audra McDuffie. The next award, the Joseph Genesee Scholarship, is given to a member of the, the Millbury High School boys soccer team. The, the class of 2020 recipient of the Joseph Genesee Scholarship is Andrew Spokus. Our next scholarship, the Martin J. Roach Memorial Scholarship, is awarded annually to a student athlete from the graduating class who through their accomplishments exemplify this principle. Team first, then me. School first, then me. The scholarship is awarded in memory of Martin Roach, MHS class of 1932. From 1936 until his retirement in 1979, Mr. Roach served, served as a teacher, a coach, athletic director, and assistant principal at Millbury High School, accepting the years 1941 and 1945 when he served with the 47th Infantry Regiment in the 9th Infantry Division of the United States Army in North Africa, Sicily, Normandy, the Ardennes, and the Rhineland. This year's Martin J. Roach Memorial Scholarship recipient is Andrews Focus. Our next award, the Michael A. Frisolo Foundation Scholarship Award, is awarded to MHS senior athletes in memory of Michael Frisolo, who was an outstanding baseball player for the Woolies. The Michael A. Frisolo Foundation Scholarship recipients for the class of 2020 are Morgan Cronin, James Crossman, Abigail Gilbert, and Hunter Luby. Our next award is the Millbury Athletic Boosters Club Scholarship. This scholarship is given in recognition of school pride, school spirit, academic excellence, and participation in the athletic competition while at Millbury High School. The recipients are Avinash Bissendiel, Micah Friedman, Abigail Gilbert, Anthony Greenwich, Emma Guyon, Hunter Luby, Audra McDuffie, and Lauren O'Connell. The next award is the Millbury Coaches Club Scholarship. Students who have earned at least two varsity letters, including one during their senior year, are eligible for this award. The student must have a high standard of leadership and have a projected projected a positive image as a student athlete. The recipients are Casey Ayotte, Jack Bazidlo, Avinash Bissendiel, Megan Cody, Morgan Cronin, James Crossman, Megan Dunn, Lily Easold, Micah Friedman, Abigail Gilbert, Anthony Greenwich, Emma Guyon, Marina Kazmazak, Hunter Luby, Audra McDuffie, Morgan Noel, Lauren O'Connell, Allison Pogorek, Kelsey Reno, Shannon Reno, and Am Amanda Saro, and Jenna Taubert. The next award is the Millbury Cultural Council Scholarship. This scholarship is given to a student who has been accepted into a two or four year college and is majoring in an arts related program. The scholarship will be awarded to Taylor Samuelson.
our next award, the Millbury Fire Department Ladies Auxiliary Alice Provencal Community Service Memorial Scholarship. This award is in memory of Alice Provencal, who was one of the earliest members of the Millbury Fire Department Ladies Auxiliary, mother of Millbury firefighter Gordon Siebenhar. The Alice Provencal Memorial Scholarship is offered by both MFDLA and members of her family to honor her contribution to our organization and town. This, the recipient must be a graduating senior who resides in Millbury and has a close relation to a fighter, firefighter. This year's award recipient is Gianna Borowski. Our next award, the Millbury Girls Softball League Scholarship, is given to a senior girl who has participated in the Millbury Girls Softball League. There are multiple recipients this year for this award. And the recipients are Abigail Assad, Casey Ayotte, Morgan Cronin, Abigail Gilbert, Emma Guyon, Marina Kazmerzak, Audra McDuffie, Morgan Noel, Allison Begorek, Abby Sharon, Jenna Tauber. Our next award, the Millbury Little League Scholarship Awards, are given to students who played four years of Little League, two years of Senior League, or their parents were involved with the Little League program. This is a series of awards, and I'll announce each of them individually. Our first recipient of the Millbury Little League Bill Graham Scholarship Award is Anthony Greenwich. Our next recipient of the Millbury Little League Randy Mogren Scholarship Award is James Frostman. Our next recipient of the Millbury Little League Tom Dunford Award goes to Hunter Luby. The Millbury Little League Roland Shepard Scholarship recipient is Lucas Belanger. And the Friends of Millbury Little League Scholarship recipient is Casey Ayotte. The Millbury High School Business Club Scholarship is given to an active member of the business club. This year's recipient is Jack Bazidlo. The Millbury Music Parents Association Scholarship is for a graduating performing arts senior. It is awarded in the recipient's second semester. There are multiple recipients this year. They are Gianna Borowski, Megan Dunn, and Hunter Swanson. The next award is the Millbury National Bank Scholarship. This scholarship is given to a Millbury High School senior as a way of supporting the community. This year's recipient is Joseph Boucher. The next award is the Millbury Old Time Inn Scholarship. The Millbury Old Time Inn is so excited to have the opportunity to give a scholarship to very deserving students. We know how tough it is to pay for college and want to help as much as we can. When buying this business three years ago, we knew that having a scholarship was our goal. There's nothing more important than a great education. The following students are the recipients of this award. Casey Ayotte, Emma Guyon, and Kelsey Reno. The next award is the Millbury Parents Club Scholarship. These scholarships are available to all graduating seniors attending Millbury High School or Blackstone Valley Tech who are current residents of Millbury. The Millbury Parents Club Scholarship recipients are Olivia Eau Claire, Joseph Boucher, Anna Carrigan, Megan Cody, Elizabeth Hone, and Jenna Taubert. Our next award, the Millbury Pee Wee Basketball Scholarship, is a scholarship that's given to students that showed good leadership during their time playing Pee Wee basketball or those who volunteer their time to the program during their high school years. There are multiple recipients of the Millbury Pee Wee Basketball Scholarship. They are as follows. Casey Ayotte, Jack Bazidlo, Lucas Belanger, James Crossman, Megan Dunn, Micah Friedman, Nicolette Gentili, Abby Gilbert, Hunter Luby, Audra McDuffie, Jason Nato, Kelsey Reno, Shannon Rito, and Casey Texera. Our next award, the Millbury Soccer Club Scholarship. This was a newly created award in 2015 and is awarded to an MHS senior who participated in youth sports. There are multiple recipients for this award and they are as follows. Casey Ayotte, Megan Cody, 
Morgan Cronin, Megan Dunn, Nicolette Gentili, Abby Gilbert, Emma Guyon, Hannah Leary, Hunter Luby, Audra McDuffie, Kelsey Reno, Shannon Reno, and Casey Tixera. Our next award, the Millbury Women's Club Scholarship, is a scholarship that is given to an MHS student that has been accepted into a two or four year college or a training or a vocational program. This year's recipients are as follows. Joseph Boucher, Megan Dunn, and Audra McDuffie. The next award is the Millbury Future Scholarship Award. The Millbury Future Foundation was founded in 2014 by Millbury High School alumni Brian Sora, Tony Khalif, and Jake Smith. Their mission is to help Millbury High School graduates further their education and unify the Millbury community. This year, the winner of the Millbury Future Scholarship Award is Megan Dunn. The next award is the Officer Edward Santon Memorial Scholarship, a scholarship given to a senior going into law enforcement or public service. This year, the Officer Edward Santon Memorial Scholarship Award will be given to Hunter Luby. Next award is the Olive Branch Lodge Masonic Awareness Scholarship. The Olive Branch Lodge was founded and chartered in 1797 by Paul Revere and Isaiah Thomas. The mission of the lodge is to add value and improve the quality of the life of the people of the greater Millbury area. Since 1997, Olive Branch Lodge has provided scholarships to students from Millbury and Sutton to help support their first year of college. The Olive Branch Lodge Masonic Awareness Scholarship recipient is Audra McDuffie. The next award is the Owen E. Carrigan Sports Scholarship and Memorial Fund. The Owen E. Carrigan Sports Scholarship is awarded to Millbury High School student athletes who participate in at least two to three years of sports during their high school careers. The recipients are successful, academic, active in the community, and possess a love of sports. The scholarships will go to Jack Bazidlo and Abigail Gilbert. Our next award, the Petals of Brittany Memorial Scholarship is given to a student who was involved with the music department or the drama club. The student also has to have a positive attitude, a kind heart, cares for others, and actively participates in community service. This year's recipient of the Petals of Brittany Memorial Scholarship is Scout Bedoin. Our next award, the Richard Canary Memorial Scholarship Award, is given to a student who has shown an interest in American history, including local history, and has shown strong academic and personal growth. This year's recipient is Morgan Cronin. Our next award, the Stephen R. Bott Scholarship, is given to a student that has improved academically with a strong moral character. This student must have earned at least two varsity letters in basketball, with, with one being his senior year. The Stephen R. Bott Scholarship recipient is Anthony Budzinski. Our next award, the Karen Family Scholarship, is given to a student who has been accepted to a two-year or a four-year college or a training or vocation program. The student also must have participated in, in the Millbury Girls Pee Wee Basketball Program, and preference will be given to a recipient of the Millbury Girls Pee Wee Basketball Sportsmanship Award. This year's recipients are Casey Ayotte, and Abigail Gilbert. The Queen's Cup Lady Woolly Scholarship Award is awarded to a senior female basketball player that has been on the varsity team for two or more years and shown dedication to the sport, her teammates, and the school. This year's recipients of the Queen's Cup Lady Woolly Scholarship are Morgan Cronin, Abigail Gilbert, Kelsey Reno, and Shannon Reno. The next scholarship is the Todd Bonus Scholarship. The scholarship was originated by Todd Bonus's father. The criteria was to help any student has overcome any type of adversity during their four years at Millbury High School. 
the Todd Bonus Scholarship will be awarded to Cassie Pompriand. The next scholarship is the Village Knoll Scholarship. This scholarship is given to students who have been accepted into a two or four year college or training vocational program. The recipients are Megan Cody, Emma Guyon, Anthony Greenwich, Micah Friedman, Abby Sharon, Anna Carrigan, Celia Hughes, Olivia Eau Claire, Jenna Taubert, and Hunter Luby. Normally at this point of the program, we move into the Dollars for Scholars presentations. This year, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, things will be a little bit different. At this point, I'd like to read a message from Kevin P. Hayes, the president of the Millbury Dollars for Scholars Board of Directors. Greetings to the class of 2020. On behalf of the Millbury Dollars for Scholars Board of Directors, congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. You have demonstrated great resilience and perseverance during a very challenging year. The Millbury Dollars for Scholars, with donations from businesses and organizations in our community, is committed to awarding scholarships as we have done over the past 40 years. Unfortunately, the COVID-19 pandemic and the closure of some local businesses has created a delay in the awards process. We will be finalizing awards in the next couple weeks and recipients of a Dollars for Scholars scholarship can expect to receive a notice in July. Once again, congratulations on your accomplishments. Best of luck in your future endeavors. I would now like to turn over this portion of the awards program to Mr. Pat Mara, our Director of Athletics. Thank you, Mr. Lowe. Good evening and thank you for allowing us to celebrate the 2019-20 Millbury Athletic Awards Night this evening in addition to the scholarship program. While certainly everything about this evening is both different than intended and lackluster, the class of 2020 is certainly not. A total of 53 out of the 108 graduates here at Millbury played or were planning on playing at least one sport their senior season. That is an astounding 49%. I'm so very proud of them and the athletic department here at Millbury. Our student athletes and coaches have done their best to persevere through these very challenging times. As a student athlete, perseverance is tested regularly, whether that's on the practice field or in competition. I hope this department has allowed you to grow in ways that will assist you in persevering once again as we all struggle with the realities of the COVID-19 pandemic. I hope we have done a small part in building the personal skills necessary to deal with the ever-changing situation and a graduation and spring season that you were not expecting. I'm confident in saying that each and every one of the 53 senior student athletes brought many positive attributes and talents to our teams and program. We will never forget this class and the undeniable impact that they have had on our department. I would be remiss at this time if I did not take an opportunity to extend my personal gratitude to our district and school leadership. Mr. Myers, Mr. Bernard, along with Principal Lowe and Vice Principal Kroll have all been incredibly supportive and huge fans of our athletic department this season. We could not be more grateful for their support, especially this year. Lastly, a very special thank you must be given to our entire, entire coaching staff. Varsity, JV, volunteer or otherwise, your passion and desire to provide our student athletes with the most well-rounded athletic experience continues to be inspiring. At this time, I would like to pre present a few athletic awards for our senior student athletes. The Woolly Pride Award is given to seniors who have participated and earned five varsity letters in their time here at Millbury with at least one coming in their senior season. This year's Woolly Pride recipients are participating in, in track and field in the eighth through 12th grade and attending Bridgewater State next year, Casey Ayotte. Our next Woolly Pride Award winner is Morgan Cronin. Morgan participated in volleyball nine through 12, basketball eight through 12, and track and field seven through 11. She'll be playing volleyball and basketball at Worcester State University. Our next Woolly Pride Award winner is James Crossman. James participated in football in the 9th through 12th grade, indoor track in 10th and 11th, as well as baseball 10 through 12. James will be attending the University of Massachusetts at Amherst. Our next Woolly Pride Award winner is Abigail Gilbert. Abby participated in softball 8 through 12, soccer 10 through 12, and basketball 10 through 12. She will be playing softball at Endicott College next year. 
Our next Woolly Pride Award winner is Anthony Greenwich. Anthony will be attending Worcester Polytechnical Institute where he'll play football after participating in football 9 through 12, track and field in 10th and 11th grade, and baseball in the 9th grade. Our next senior student athlete is Emma Guyan. Emma participated in soccer in 10th and 11th grade, softball 10 through 12, and indoor track as a sophomore. Emma will be playing softball and attending the University of Coastal Carolina. Our next Wooly Pride Award winner is Marina Kazmerzak. Marina participated in softball in 9th through 12th grade and indoor track as a sophomore. She will be attending Worcester State University in the fall. Next is Audra McDuffie. Audra participated in soccer 9 through 12, softball 8 through 12, and indoor track as a sophomore. Audra will be playing soccer or softball at Bridgewater State University next fall. Next award winner is Jason Nato. Jason played football in the 9th through 12th grade, basketball in 9th and 10th grade, and track and field as a freshman. Jason will be attending Westfield State University next fall. Our next Wooly Pride Award winner is Aaron Onofri. Aaron participated in track and field 7 through 12, indoor track 7 through 12, and cross country 7 through 12, as well as being a founding member of our unified track program. Aaron is heading off and will run track at Worcester State University next fall. Our next Wooly Pride Award winner is Allison Pagoric. Allie played cross country nine, 7 through 12, indoor track 8 through 12, and softball 9 through 12. She will be playing softball at Fitchburg State University next fall. Our next Wooly Pride Award winner is Kelsey Reno. Kelsey participated in track and field 7 through 12 and basketball 8 through 12. She will be attending Worcester Polytechnical Institute. Next Wooly Pride Award winner is Shannon Reno. Shannon participated in basketball 8 through 12, track and field 8 through 12, and soccer in the 8th and ninth grade. Shannon will be playing basketball at WPI next fall. Our next Wooly Pride Award winner is Amanda Saro. Amanda participated in soccer 8 through 12 and basketball 9 through 11. She will be attending Emanuel College and playing soccer there this coming fall. Our next senior student athlete is Jenna Taubert. Jenna participated in cross country 9 through 12, indoor and outdoor track 7 through 12. She will be attending Worcester Polytechnic Institute in this coming fall. And our last Wooly Pride Award winner for this evening is Casey Texera. Casey participated in basketball in the 9th and 10th grade and track and field 7 through 12. Casey will be attending Endicott College in the fall. While we appreciate all of the Senior Wooly Pride Award winners, we do realize that during, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we may be missing some applications for some student athletes that would have qualified for the Wooly Pride Award. If you are one of those individuals, please feel free to reach out to me and we will get you a plaque made and sent out to you so that you can be recognized as well. The last portion of our evening is six athletic department awards that are given annually to male and female student athletes that have directly impacted not only the athletic department but the school community as well. The District E Athletic Award is given annually to a Millbury student athlete who has represented Millbury with regard to athletic proficiency, scholastic achievement, citizenship, leadership, and contributions to the school and community. The Female Student Athlete Award winner for the District E Athletic Award is Morgan Cronin. The District E Athletic Award male recipient is Avinash Basundale. The next award is the Athletic Director Award. The Athletic Director Award is given annually to the Millbury student athlete who possesses the highest qualities of social, of scholarship, leadership, sportsmanship, and attitude. The female student athlete winner of the Athletic Director Award is Abigail Gilbert. The male student athlete award winner of the Athletic Director Award 
is James Crossman. Now we'd like to present the last athletic award for the evening. The Donald Witkowski Award is given annually to the Millbury student athlete who has excelled in athletic participation and possesses those qualities that teachers and parents strive to instill in their young adults. The female student athlete award winner of the Donald Witkowski Award is Audra McDuffie. The male student athlete recipient of the Donald Witkowski Award is Micah Friedman. That concludes the athletic portion of this evening's program. I would like to invite Principal Lowe back up to the podium for a closing remark. Before I formally close out tonight's, tonight's award ceremony, I would like to take the time to thank both Mrs. Stephanie DeLucia and Mr. Patrick Mara for, the, for their help in presenting out tonight's programs. Thank you both very much. Woolies, over the past four years, I've been fortunate to have had the opportunity to grow alongside you as your assistant principal, and it is with immense pride to be able to complete your journey as the building principal here at Millbury Memorial Junior Senior High School. This is a time in history we will never forget, and to you, the class of 2020, you are most certainly a group of incredible individuals that will forever be remembered. You have all made us so incredibly proud. I would like to thank everyone for tuning in and coming out and celebrating our first ever remote awards night celebration. Even in this different capacity, the essence of this event is to be able to celebrate student success, achievement, and dedication. Normally, at this point, we would venture to the media center for, refreshment, for, for refreshments excuse me, and extended celebrations. We hope that in the absence of being able to do that, you have the opportunity to celebrate with one another in the comforts of your own homes. Class of 2020, I would like to congratulate you all one more time. Thank you all for being with us for this celebration. I wish you all well. Good night.